Hello wonderful students and welcome to my video on preparing financial statements from an adjusted trial balance. Once all adjusting entries have been made, you can prepare financial statements from the adjusted trial balance. What period of time will you cover? You can make financial statements for a month or a quarter. Some people make them semi-annually or you can make them for a year. This is known as the periodicity assumption. We like to make our financial statements for periods of time so that we can compare them from month to month, from quarter to quarter, or from year to year. You're required to make financial statements at least annually but you can make them over shorter periods of time and when you do this, this is called interim reporting periods. You can do monthly, quarterly, or semi-annually. All businesses, however, are required to prepare financial statements at least once a year, if for no other reason than the Internal Revenue Service wants to know what's going on. But preparing monthly financial statements really is a good practice. It's a uh, bad form to find out that you have gone bankrupt in December when you would have known about it if you would have prepared a financial statement in June. So monthly financial statements are a common and good practice. You do have to prepare them annually regardless of what type of interim reporting you do. Um, but you don't have to do them for a calendar year. You can do them for a fiscal year. Fiscal years are any consecutive 12 months. There are a lot of businesses that wouldn't want to prepare financial statements on December 31st because that is when they are at their busyness, busiest, like retail stores. They're still reeling from Christmas and returns. They're not ready to do inventory counts in a year-end close. So most people will time their year-end closing with when their business cycle is at its lowest. When do you think business cycles are at their lowest for college and universities? If you guess this summer, you're right. Salt Lake Community College ends its fiscal year on June 30th. We also use a curl basis of accounting to make our financial statements. Transactions are recorded in the periods in which the events occur. And one event is revenue, and it's recognized when it's earned, not when the cash is received, according to the revenue recognition principle. And expenses are recognized when they are incurred, not when they are paid, according to the matching principle. So all financial statements are prepared from adjusted trial balances, which have gone through the adjusting techniques to take financial or to take the records to a curl basis accounting. Here is an adjusted trial balance for Pioneer Advertising Company and you can tell it's an adjusted trial balance because it says in its heading it's an adjusted trial balance. And it's dated as of October 31st so we know that these are the balances and the financial accounts for Pioneer Advertising on the close of business on October 31st, 2012. Notice the good formatting techniques that are being used. There's a dollar sign at the beginning of each column and at the bottom of each column and totals when the mathematics have been checked twice are underlined twice to show that this is ready to have financial statements be prepared from it. The accounts that are shown in red are the ones that changed for making adjusting entries. We use an adjusted trial balance to prepare all financial statements. First you prepare an income statement because you need that to make a statement of changes in owner's equity and you need that total to make the balance sheet. All financial statements, however, are prepared from the adjusted trial balance. Let's take Pioneer's Adjusted Trial Balance of October, as of October 31st, 2012 and prepare the income statement 
notice in our heading it says Pioneer Advertising Agency that it's an income statement and for it's, it's for the month ended this October 31st 2012. An income statement shows the revenues for a business and they're brought over from the adjusted trial balance. It shows the expenses for a business. They're brought over from the adjusted trial balance as well. There's some good formatting techniques. The first amount in each column has a dollar sign. There's a total for revenue, a total for expenses, and net income is totaled, has a dollar sign, and it's underlined twice to show that the math has been checked. If you look at your adjusted trial balance, all of the accounts in red have been used now, and they're the revenue and expense accounts. Also notice that we have taken net income, 2860 down, and used it on the statement of changes in owner's equity. Recall owner's equity goes up for revenue and down for expenses, and when you add in net income, you have taken it into account both revenues and expenses. Our owner's equity statement is for Pioneer Advertising Agency. It's also for a period of time. It covers the month ending October 31st. Both the income statement and statement of changes owner's equity are period of time statements. Good formatting techniques. Dollar sign on the top. Dollar sign on the bottom and two underlines to show that you have checked the math and we have our owner's beginning balance was zero. It's Pioneer's first month in business. There's $10,000 that the owner invested. It's shown in the capital account. It goes up for net income. It goes down for draws and then you have ending owner's equity of 12360 If you look at our adjusted trial balance, we have now used the accounts that are in blue. On a theoretical note, please notice that owner's capital, as shown on the statement of changes of owner's equity, now includes the beginning balance. It's gone down for draws, up for revenue, and down for expenses, and it is now $12,360. Let's move forward now and look at the preparation of the balance sheet. It's Pioneer Advertising Agency. It's a balance sheet and it's as of a point in time. It's as of the close of business on the day represented on the income statement and the statement of changes in owner's equity. Notice that we are using report format which shows assets on top and liabilities in owner's equity on the bottom. When you list them side to side, that's called a balance format. This is called the report format. We have brought forward all assets, cash, accounts, receivable, supplies, and so on. Notice that accumulated depreciation, the contra asset is shown with equipment, and the net is brought over into the total column. So accumulated depreciation is shown with assets since it's a contra asset. Sometimes students put it down with liabilities, but it's not a liability. Then notice that we have brought the liability account straight over from the, or from the adjusted trial balance and our total liabilities are 9550 And we have brought owner's equity forward from the statement of changes in owner's equity and it's 12360 It includes the beginning balance. It is reduced for draws. It's gone up for revenue. It's gone down for wages. In fact, if you look at your adjusted trial balance, everything that is in black has been collapsed to one number, and that number would be 12360 and it is the ending balance in our owner's capital account. Well, thank you very much for joining me for this video of how to prepare financial statements from an adjusted trial balance. And here's hoping you have a great rest of the day. Bye for now.